Etsy sellers, welcome back to my channel and it's October. October is when things start to get spicy on Etsy. Are you making sales yet? If you are and that your sales have gone up, let me know in the comments. So this is what you need to be doing in October. There's always loads of stuff to do moving into Christmas, but these are the five top points I want you to think about and consider uh, actioning as soon as possible in your store. Number one, no surprise now, but you, you know, lots of people really aren't getting into this groove. It's list, 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 okay? If you're sitting on listings that aren't yet in your store, get them into your store now. Seasonal listings, they should have already been going in since September, but now get listing, okay? If you're a new store and you're a growing store and you're under one sale a day, just list one item a day, every day. If you're over one sale a day, you can list more. There's, there's not a limit if you're making more sales. I only say to you, if you're a new and growing store, hold back on your listing speed so that your conversion rate doesn't go down. But if you're making daily sales, multiple sales, you can list faster. Right, so this is paramount importance. Traffic is going up now on Etsy. You've got to get that list listing size up. Get your store size up. If you're not at a hundred listings, try to get there. And I know not all of you can get there. And if you can't get there, just do what you can. Just set a target for 20 listings, 30, 40, whatever you can do. The traffic is so much higher. You've got to try and take advantage of all that extra traffic to bring more visibility into your store. The winners on Etsy at Christmas time are the stores that make the most sales, raising their visibility levels so that they go into 2025 at a higher visibility level than all the stores that make mediocre sales or don't make any sales at all. And one of the primary ways to make more sales is list. So get listing. I can't state, understate this enough. Understate? State, state this enough. List, list, list. Number two, try, if you can, to sell products in the 20 to $50 price point, right? Etsy, I've said this at least once on my YouTube channel, I'm gonna say it again right now, Etsy is a sub $100 marketplace. And it stands to reason if you've got giftable, personalized, attractive items at the 20 to $50 price point, you're gonna capture more sales at Christmas. Now again, I know some of you can't do the 20 to 50, if you can't, just do what you can. The bulk of the sales on Etsy are going on under $100. And if you can crack this price area heavily, then you're gonna make more sales at Christmas. If you're selling digital, you can do themes, sets, and bundles, okay, to offer better value for customers at Christmas. Obviously not 20 to $50, usually two to $10 in that price range for digital. But just try this if you, if you don't have a big exposure at this price point, try and do it and you'll probably make more sales at Christmas. Okay, so that's price. Number three, right, this is a big one, bit of foresight and planning. January 25, listing plan. Okay, so you need to be planning now what you're going to do starting in the new year. January, February, March, April on Etsy are usually really good months for most sellers. Obviously seasonality excluded. If you're only selling things in summer, well then it's not going to be. But in general, January, February, March, April are really strong months. And you need a listing plan. And I talk about listing plans all the time. If you have a listing plan, then you're committing to your store progress. You're committing to shaping the future of your store. So for a listing plan, you need to work out what you can do. So what, what can I do in terms of listing into my store per day, per week, per month? And what are my other commitments? And set a plan that's manageable, achievable, repeatable, and consistent, right? And then list starting in the new year with all, all your new items. You know, listing is kind of a constant thing on Etsy. You should always be listing, adding new items, removing items, updating stuff. But it's this psychological aspect of January, like a new start, a new year. Use it as fuel, use it as motivation to bring in a new listing plan. The listing plan might be 30 days, it might be 60, it might be 90 days, it might be all year. 
Do what you can, do what works for you in your life, but have some kind of listing plan. This is paramount for, for next year. January 25 listing plan. Okay, <laughs> my voice went funny then. <laughs> right, okay, let's have a look. Etsy ads. So, this is kind of a last call for Christmas, okay? It's a last call for Christmas. So, you've got to be selling before using Etsy ads. If you're not selling, don't use Etsy ads. You're just gonna waste your money. Make sure you're making regular sales and then it's more likely your Etsy ads will work because you can see customers like your listings, they're purchasing, purchasing them. You can see the photography, the video. You've got, already got organic proof that it works. So, if you are selling, now would be the time, it's kind of a last call, to get your Etsy ads set up, okay? Get your Etsy ads set up, just make sure that whatever listings you advertise, your budget gets you through a complete day of advertising. I can't stress this enough. So if you've only got $5 a day, don't advertise your whole store, right? Because it's probably gonna eat that budget up in two hours. Just advertise three, four, five, six, seven listings, whatever that number is that you can get through a complete day of advertising with, with your budget. So, advertise through a complete day, make sure you've got enough budget, and if you're making sales, start running your Etsy ads now so that you can capitalize on all that extra traffic and extra sales that ads will bring. Okay, the final one. This is a last call for primary photos. So in the last September video for September, I talked about updating or trying to update at least your primary photo slots for all your seasonal Christmas items. And in general, really, just in general, if you can update just the primary photo slot to be brighter, well-focused, no sunlight, no shadows, no items cut off, all these horrible things that reduce the impact of your photos and your brand, this is a last call now. So try to update the primary photo slot of as many listings as you can, but don't do it on listings that sell. So only non-selling, okay? You don't wanna possibly knock out listings that are selling with photos you think are better, but they actually aren't and the customers don't like them. So try and update your primary photo slots, make the photos better, but only on non-selling listings. There's a load more stuff I could talk about, but these five things are really, really essential steps now to maximize our performance this year and prepare for next year. So get into my comments. Let me know if you're gonna do this. Let me know if these month beginning what to do's are helpful for you. And don't forget, if you want to work with me, look at the screen now and there will be a book in now button coming up and that takes you to a discovery call booking link. So you can book in for a free call with me one-to-one -one on Zoom and I can advise you on how I can work with you in a paid consultation or mentoring to improve your store. I look forward to catching you in a consultation and catching you in the comments. Cheers.